Hi RMIT, this is vlog 1B. So far I'm really enjoying my role and happy at Macquarie. My manager and my buddy are going above and beyond and making me feel really comfortable and I wouldn't change anything. After almost 200 hours, I've really enjoyed working in a full corporate environment at Macquarie Bank. Prior to Christmas was great being able to get into the office on a daily basis and work collaboratively with my team while meeting and seeing how all the other teams work um, on the floor was really insightful. Post Christmas break, following the government guidelines, we've been working virtually and at home, which hasn't been ideal, but there's some really good systems put in place to make our work seamless with a seamless transition. The tasks I've been working on, the first three weeks was all about learning, induction, reading about policy, asking questions and shadow, shadowing sort of team members and also filling out security modules. Specific skills and tasks I've gained um, and would be just being having the ability to execute tasks and working within the collateral management team. This includes analyzing SME company security structures, creating general security agreements and finance agreements, as well as deed of guarantee and indemnity agreements. This includes uh, vetting trusts, documenting mortgage and PPSR discharges, writing guarantee letters, making variations increases to different loan products within the deal flow process. I've also learned how to package strata improvement loans and I can fully do that by myself. But this is quite a straightforward process and yet it is quite interesting. In my downtime, I've been working on my intern challenge project which is presenting to the corporate bank on what a hybrid future looks like to the directors. At Macquarie, the intern challenge is the pinnacle of the internship and it's a really important presentation where you're competing with the other interns for a graduate offer. My expectations um, explained in the prior to commence it video has been expected and have been met. The professionalism is very high and there is multiple interactions with different internal stakeholders in any given day, which has been awesome. A typical work day is from around 8, 8, 30 till 5, 6, sometimes 7, which is what I expected. Being involved in the debt and lending deal flow process and seeing multiple transactions um, and every one of them is different has been really interesting and I feel no day or week is the same and I've been really blessed to be able to gain exposure to all different key employees and departments of the business. In regards to what has surprised me within the internship, probably just the amount of teams that work on one deal and that flow of process. So a deal would start at the BDMs, it would go to the RMs, then it would go to CRA and then CA, and then it would go to the risk management group. The deal would then go to the documents group and the settlement and just the overall length of the process i didn't realize it would be that long and thorough however it does make sense another thing that surprised me is all the best frontline bankers actually come from the back end roles they understand the nuts and bolts of the business and spent time in the trenches and i've got told it takes a good four to six years to get that level of competency and experience uh, you need to be a really good sort of front-end corporate business banker the specific skills I've gained to this point, I think would just be getting and gaining exposure to understanding how the different types of tra transactions work within the business and the corporate bank. I've learned how to use specific banking applications and software such as Salesforce, Pivot, Pact, Word, and Excel. Other skills that have improved would definitely be my communication via email and on Salesforce as well as just being able to concisely read and analyze specific financial information and really know what's important and what isn't and just having that accuracy which the analysts have been teaching me. Skills from RMIT which have helped would be uh, definitely the Word and Excel training I did in the Business Information Systems course along with uh, the basic accounting subject and investment which has provided a solid baseline and tools of just financial acumen and knowing how to sort of understand the basic sort of products and how it all works. The best aspect of the internship would uh, 
include just working on real life deals and submitting these deals uh, within my team um, to the reviewers who would check and then approved. So it's really rewarding knowing that if I did everything perfect, that this work actually means something and it's part of the process, which is cool. I think other uh, aspects which have been really enjoyable is being exposed to all the different teams, catching up with directors and managers of all different areas of the business and connecting and building my network, as well as the industry segment education and training that the bank provides. We are experts and only bank within our specialty um, segments, which include professional services, real estate, insurance, and medical. So the training and knowledge I'm learning about these industries is so interesting, amazing. I um, just really love learning about them. Other benefits would be just being uh, having the availability to the resources and being involved in a internship cohort, which has been really fun and just meeting other people who are in a similar process for myself. The worst bit of the internship would be um, there actually hasn't been anything that bad, but if there was, I'll probably say is I'm a hands-on learner and I thrive on human connection and teamwork. So working from home with the government restrictions has made things a little bit tricky. I'd much rather be in the office, but I completely understand and it just is what it is. My expectations have remained quite the same. I'd really just like to keep on engaging, contributing, networking, adding value to the business and the team in any possible way I can. A major goal for myself is to win the intern challenge presentation um, and just put a really good effort for my presentation to hopefully get a grad offer, as I mentioned earlier about the intern challenge. The biggest aspect um, which I also expect is just to build the confidence and gain new skills for any future endeavors uh, within Macquarie or as I continue my professional career, as well as during my studies at RMIT, hopefully I can bring back and share some sort of knowledge and wisdom. In regards to sort of the major cultural differences I've found between the workplace and RMITs, I think it's mainly just generational age, experience and expertise. At the bank, there is also a lot of policy guidelines and security processes we need to adhere to and clear. You obviously don't get that at the university. And I think at uni, as I'm a mature age student, a lot of my peers are quite younger and uh, have come out of school, which is completely fine. However, as I'm a mature age student, um, I work with them efficiently and effectively. However, within the uh, workplace, a lot of my team are either at my age or a little bit older, which makes it easier to connect and sort of engage with and learn from. I'm not comparing, there's no right or wrong. I just feel that's sort of the difference between uni and work. Other different factors would just be the dress code. A suit and presenting well is a must and the communication is probably a little bit more formal compared to the university. In regards to school, at uni we're sort of learning and we can get a lot more feedback, make mistakes and improve from this and the consequences are not necessarily as vital. At work, you need to be very vigilant, uh, precautious, and really sort of thorough to reduce any costly mistakes, which just makes sense. That's me replying to all my sort of prompting questions. I hope that sort of paints a good picture on where I'm at within Macquarie. I look forward to being able to update you guys in the next few weeks on how it all finishes up, and hopefully I can win the internship challenge, which will be a good goal. I've been putting a lot of work in. And yeah, thank you for listening and allowing me to use this subject as an elective at RMIT. And I can't believe we go back to uni in three to four weeks. So thank you.